Hi, I'm Kathy. And I'm Maddie. And we are Wheelchair Adventurers. And we want to tell you about an adventure of a lifetime. Yes. Where do we go, Maddie? Antarctica. Antarctica. Yeah. It was not on our bucket list. It was on my husband's bucket list, but we yeah. said, we'll go along. And we were on a uh, the Celebrity Eclipse, and it was a bigger ship. So uh, I think any ships over 500 people cannot, no one can get off in Antarctica. So we knew that we were safe. We would just be cruising Cruise. around and seeing what we could see. And it would be as amazing as it would be, but it was truly amazing. Well, who cares if you can, I mean, who cares if you can't get off? Because like, you're just seeing nature. You're just observing nature. You're just having an amazing time. Right. Right, and some people need to get off and do whatever, and it wouldn't work for us anyway because you have to get off on the rubber boats. Yeah, and, yeah. so we're fine. We're Zodiac boats. We're yep. just happy to be able to go and to see what we did. So let's start. Um, we started in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and I'm, we're not going to talk about that right now because we spent a couple days there, and then we got on the cruise, and then we're going back. Um, for a few more days. So we'll do a segment later just on Buenos Aires and what we were able to do. But let's start with um, getting on the cruise and in Buenos Aires. And in our last video, we talked about the difficulty of, because you had to go to a different terminal because the original terminal, the roof caved in um, during a storm. So it was just a difficult process to, uh, embark mm -hmm. on the ship but we got on yep. just a little bit more work uh so we got on and we had three days at sea three days and then we hit ushuaia mm -hmm. ushuaia argentina again if you've watched our other videos you know that there was a problem with the shore excursion there so yep. um we weren't yep, yep. able to go on because even though it was supposed to be accessible, it was not. It was not. So we just took some time and walked around the city a little bit because the sidewalks were not, were not accessible. Not accessible. Um, nope. It, it was up a hill to the main stores. And those hills, the sidewalks, were they were ridiculous. All, uh, they were chopped up they were poorly laid out there were things in the middle of the sidewalk so a wheelchair could not get around um yeah just, we had yeah. someone tell us to go down to this particular street and we did and it was it was a newer street they were working on redoing the sidewalks and whatnot but it was blocked off because they were doing something above and they didn't want something to fall on anyone's head. So we could not get through. Yeah. So we finally gave up. We went to, do we look around a few vendors, little vendors? I'm not sure. I don't remember. It, it was not. It was not what we expected. Well, we hadn't because the, we were supposed to go on a, an accessible excursion through the ship. We yeah. had not looked at something else to do. Yep. So we didn't have anything to do. Yep. Um, and I did go to some of the little, they have little uh, places where they have boat tours and such. Mm -hmm. And I went to them, but because of the weather, they didn't have a penguin. Um, no, no penguins. Boat going out. And the other one was to see a lighthouse and it wasn't till about 5 30 at night so just yeah. and they did say it was wheelchair accessible and i did see some boats there some bigger boats that had a pretty good size ramp onto it so you, you might not have been able to get up on the top of the boat but you could at least get on the boat but it didn't work i mean it didn't work for us because of the timing the weather so. yada, yada, yada. Ushuaia is not a good city to walk around or roll around if you have any type of disability nope so then we were off that was our last stop before we went across the drake passage 
and that was pretty smooth. Yeah, yes, yes. it was. And I have read about the Drake Passage, and it said it can be either the Drake Lake, which is smooth, or the Drake Shake, which is. Ooh. We got the lake, thankfully. Um, we went around Cape Horn, Chile. And now, that was not memorable to me. How about you? No. Do you remember much? No. Hank, do you remember much about Cape Horn, Chile? No. It was not memorable. Uh, <sighs> so then we went, the next day was when we were actually going to go um, into the, into Antarctica. And in the morning, um, the captain came on and said, and I really didn't get a whole lot of what he said, but he had said something about if they didn't know if they could go in, which I think that he meant they didn't know if they could go into Paradise Bay. Because we were supposed to go to Sholert Channel, um, Paradise Bay, and Gerlach Strait, in the Gerlach Straits. So, I guess the weather was iffy. It was kind of rainy. It wasn't, it wasn't rainy. It was kind of foggy. Yeah. Foggy. Um, but we did. We started down the Sholark Channel, and we saw so many icebergs. Oh, it was great. It was beautiful. Even though it was overcast and you know you couldn't see them clearly which is sad because they're yeah, so beautiful it was, if, yeah it was it was if, sad if you see the sun on them yeah it was really really i mean yeah. it was beautiful but it was very sad was, yeah well you take your chances yeah, i mean true. it's not going to be sunny it's summer in antarctica but true. you know you get what you get and you're happy with it and there were just yep. some huge huge icebergs and then it started to snow because why not yeah and it was not too windy though which was good it just was a little bit of windy it was yeah <coughs> snowy but that's why we had parkas we had parkas we were dressed i mean maddie yep not I much of tell. anything was showing she had, had to tell everything was covered she had bibs overalls on she had an arctic parka she had hat gloves scarf boots everything Yep. So, because we were going to go out on the deck. First, we were like, okay, we're going to watch from the this their suite. But it was just too amazing. Yeah. So, we went out and we went to the back of the ship so that we could see on both sides if, you know, the captain would say, okay, this is over here, this is over here. So, we caught my favorite video of the whole trip. It, well, the peng um, uh, penguins on an iceberg. It was mm -hmm. in the Schroller Channel. And they came, the iceberg passed us, and these three little penguins, two of them jumped off into the water. It was just so cute. Mm -hmm. um, and there was one that was like, I don't want to get off. Yeah, he's like, I'm not getting off. I don't know what you two are doing. But, uh, and then we saw a seal go by that was sleeping mm -hmm. on an iceberg. We saw another penguin that was all by himself. I, I can't wait to put pictures. To put pictures yeah, we will put this. pictures. Yeah. He we, said, I can't wait for that. I know. But yeah, there was one penguin. He was all by himself. He was on this huge piece of ice just floating by and the snow's coming down. And he's just walking back and forth like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, just adorable. Whales, oh, whales all over the place. We had some orcas that actually came up and I tried to get a picture, but it was over somebody's head. I tried to take a video. Um, we had humpback whales, orcas, um, just so, it was just so much fun. Um, just seeing it all go by. And then we get to Paradise Bay and that was beautiful as well. Yeah. yeah. That's the one where the the, the uh, captain turned the boat around. Oh, yeah. 360. Mm -hmm. And he did that twice. But it was just spectacular. Mm -hmm. And it, it, 
have to look back at the pictures, but it cleared up. It cleared up somewhere along the way and you know, it was, it was still kind of foggy, but it was still, you know, they say it was great weather and the people that have been here, you know, they've done it two or three times before, they said it was, it was good weather. So it was beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. I mean, I, it was just, and the water, yeah. the water was so blue, so blue and it's so mm -hmm. pristine because there's no, so many. Nothing's been touching it. Nothing's been around. Right, because there's very strict laws about... Thankfully. Right, coming in here and um, my husband was saying that they have to... Ships have to use a special fuel. Um, there's just a lot of regulations to keep Antarctica pristine. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And the animals, the animals love it. Mm. Um, yeah, it was amazing. Okay, so we went into, like I said, Paradise Bay... Um, sailed around there and then we took off from there and headed back toward Elephant Island. Now again, Elephant Island was another one where we're going along and then all of a sudden just a fog bank. It's just foggy, can't see anything, even out, outside your window. Get your window, yeah. Uh-huh. And then we got to Elephant Island, and it's just like magic. Magic. It all disappeared. Elephant Island was huge, and it was beautiful. All ice and glaciers. Mountains. Mm -hmm. mountains. Yeah. Ice peaks, glaciers. Just beautiful. It was beautiful. Um, is that where we saw the penguin swimming? Yeah. Yes. yes. We saw penguins that were in the water swimming. Yep. We couldn't see anything. We were too far away from the shore to see any penguins on shore. But they were in the water. So cute. Mm -hmm. Adorable. So we have yet to see penguins other than um, on the icebergs. And um, we saw them swimming. Yeah. So, again, because we can't stop in Antarctica, we can only sail around, see what we can see. Which is great. I mean, I, I, like, Sorry. I like the fact that that can be possible. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to get off to see beauty. Right, right. The beauty was coming up to us. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. Uh, the whales were coming up you know, right in front of us. Uh, so then we had another sea day. And then we we're supposed to stop in the Port Stanley Falkland Islands, and it's a tender port. We've gotten the okay for Maddie to be able to get off because we were supposed to go and see Gen 2 penguins. Penguins! But we didn't know, and you wouldn't know, but not many ships get to pull in there. One, because it's a big tender port. I mean, there's no dock, so every everybody has to tender. And it's about a two mile tender into town, which can take 30 to 40 minutes. And the weather is just so erratic there, which again, I never, yep. I've heard of Falkland Islands, but I never really paid that much attention. Mm -hmm. um, so not many ships actually stop there. The week, uh, not the week, the trip before hours, they actually got to stop. And I think that was the first time this season. But we had something else planned. Well, yeah, we were going to go see the penguins. But so we were, the captain said, okay, we're going to actually go ahead because it was a huge storm, 30 foot waves. <laughs> don't, don't bother, please. Um, he said, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go into Puerto Madryn a day early. We're going to get there. He said four o'clock at first. We ended up getting there at noon the day before and actually spending the night and then leaving the next afternoon. Yeah. So that opened up a big possibility for, because that is, you know, animal Mecca. Mm. So um, I had mm. been able to change. We were going to go out and dolphin watch, but 
the person that was, this is in Puerto Madryn, um, the person that was gonna take us out said it might be a problem with the wheelchair. So, and I mentioned that we love penguins. She So she said, why don't we change it and we'll go to Punta Tombo, which is this huge penguin reserve. Oh my God. So, so we're gonna talk penguins. about that in a minute, yes. So I said, okay, we, that would be great because we wanna see penguins. So when we got to Port, Puerto Madrid, Puerto Madryn, we, were, we got in at noon and um, we went and walked around and it was a holiday, it was a Monday. We, <coughs> excuse me, walked around the town and I went into the visitor center and we, we actually got some great um, souvenirs too. Yeah. Uh, some marble penguins, but mm -hmm. we, I went into the visitor center and I overheard this other person telling someone that they could go out to Punta Luma, which is a big um, sea lion reserve, preserve. And it would cost, with taxi, it would cost about $50 US. And they would take you out, wait for you, and then bring you back. So I so said, that's perfect. We'd love to see some sea lions. Because we yeah, saw some getting too. getting off the um, the ship in Puerto Madryn, so we um, we walked about two blocks. And again, the sidewalks were very good in Puerto Madryn. Yeah, you know, the city's flat; it's accessible, uh, so it was easy walk. We walked and went to the taxi stand, and they the one person's spoke kind of good English. We kind of communicated by making gestures. gestures. <laughs> but um, he said, yes, we can take you to Punta Luma. And we weren't sure, there was a miscommunication. We weren't sure how long we were gonna be able to stay there. But I said, fine, let's go. It's a 20 minute drive. So we got Maddie in the taxi. Again, it was just a regular car. Um, transferred her into the back seat folded up her wheelchair we are on our way and the driver spoke very little English I I'm not sure he spoke any at all I don't think so but <laughs> this is where Maddie said because you know he was a hard-working taxi driver yeah. and she turned to me and she said do you think this is safe I said yes it's safe gonna do this we're gonna see some sea lions yeah he, he just he, 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 yeah he was a hard-working guy he was, yeah he was very nice he turned out to be very nice he tried to tell us stuff as we went along you know whether we understood it or not it was okay yeah showed us some very nice houses I mean I was really surprised at the um, houses very nice seaside community so we went out and uh, we got there and I said, how long? And he said, one hour. Okay, you're gonna wait for us for an hour? He goes, yep, I'll be here. And he was, I mean, we probably stayed out about 30, 40 minutes. That was 20. No, I think it was more than that. Okay. Uh, 30, 40. Yeah, 30, 40 minutes. But it was so much fun. The sea lions. Oh my gosh, they're are so hilarious. cute. They're cute. So there were cute. little babies running around, and then these these big alpha males who are just you know barking at everybody. Um, but it was it was so much fun. I'm so glad we did it. Yeah. And on the way back, we um, stopped along the way, and he let me take some pictures and pulled off the road somewhere and got to see some other scenery. So it was very nice. Uh, so then we went back to the ship. The next day, we are tours by locals. Guide picked us up right outside. It's about a half mile walk. The pier, the pier is really long because they have such drastic or dramatic low tides and high tides. I mean, it's just, it, it, it just mind blowing. The, um, I forgot how much she said, but it's just the, the 
difference between low tide and high tide is incredible. So it's about a half mile walk. They do have a shuttle, but again, it's not accessible. So we would walk and that's where we'd see the sea lions on the, um, the stairs, just sleeping. And um, so we met her seven o'clock in the morning because we had to be back on the ship by 3.30 and to go out to Punta Tumba, it's a two and a half hour drive. Each way. Each way. Each way. But we wanted to see Ponte some penguins. Ponta Tombo, yes. Ponta Tombo. Ponta Tombo? Yeah. Yes. So we, I slept. Because again, we were up very early if we had to meet her at seven. Um, slept on the way out. But we got there and we were the first ones there. And I'm so mm -hmm. glad that we had that little bit of time 20 minutes by ourselves it was incredible at the high point they can have well she said they have now about six hundred thousand penguins penguins there it can be up to a million they come in every year come back breed whenever they're there until march i believe march or april and it's just so much fun. I want to do it again. You want to do it again? Yes. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about the accessibility in a minute. True. <laughs> we'll talk about the penguins, which were so cute. They all had their little burrows. Yeah, they're so cute. And, and they all make the weirdest noise. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll let you... Uh, we'll include a video of what they sound like. Yeah. They are... They squawk. Oh, my gosh. And then they just... But they're so cute and they just just walking all over the place and they'll go down to the ocean and they'll swim and the little babies that are now getting bigger and starting to molt and oh, it's just incredible one of the best days of my life right mm, yeah yes so much worth it um yeah so we'll we'll uh it was a challenge i mean well yeah but let's just stop for a minute and show that one video where the squawker is oh yeah yeah so we'll take we'll just let that play. let the play the squawker Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, just all day long, back and forth, back and forth, from the burrow down to the ocean, and then, and then, gosh, cuteness overload. Mm. We've picked up several of these along the way, just a little, a little penguins. Yes. Yes. Um, if you're ever in, in uh, Porto Madryn, I do it, if you can't. Now, here's the kicker. They you advertise it. Yeah, it was a kicker. It kicked us around. Yeah. They advertise it as wheelchair accessible. And it is to some degree. But they have um, boardwalks. Okay. First of all, the parking lot is gravel. Sometimes big rocks, sometimes little rocks. Mm -hmm. So we would have to pull Maddie backwards. And then you get to the boardwalks and it's not like the ramp up to the boardwalk. It's like uh, the boardwalk is up here and you've got to figure out how to get up here. You know, so we just lift Maddie back and put her on. And it's that way throughout. But there are big sections where it's just rocks, rocks. big rocks. So it's not like you can just roll and it's like uh, I mean it is pulling her back turning her around and myself on one side my husband on the other side and just dragging her I don't know why they don't have a continuous boardwalk they do down by the ocean um, but there's big sections that are not 
uh, and I saw some people from the ship that could not go only so far. And you can still see them. Uh, you can still see lots of penguins, but not the true full experience um, until you go all the way down and see them in the ocean. The ocean was um, cool. They have a little kiddie pool, which is where the young penguins go to learn how to swim and, and do whatever. And then they They're have the so big, cute. big section of ocean oh. where the older ones come. And they're so funny to watch. You know, they're just they're so cute. And they're trying to get out in this huge surf. And it's just so cute. It's phenomenal. But by the time we came back, Maddie's wheelchair, I had to put mm. it in the shower. It was really dirty. It was filthy. We were exhausted. We were filthy. We had to take a shower. Um, but it was so worth it. Yeah. But I don't. I don't think that I could do that alone because there's one part of the the boardwalk that's just like this and it goes on for quite a while and we had I was holding her back the our guide was holding her back and my husband was holding her back in the back it's like oh, I don't know it's I'm not sure we can do this but we did it um but it's not truly wheelchair accessible and it's too bad because yeah you know, it's so easily fixed with with um, some good boardwalk because it is amazing. Well, amazing. maybe, I don't know. I don't know who we could talk to about that, but I doubt I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, you know, I'm sure that they get that comment all the time and uh, maybe they're just funding. I don't know. But we would do it again. Yeah. I mean, I uh, eat my Wheaties and move on. But I couldn't do it alone. No. No. Um, it's just not we'd, safe. We'd have to have a, a friend come and help right. us. Right, it's not safe, especially that ramp that goes you know, like this. Uh, but it is so amazing. Um, they have 150,000 couples, so that's 300,000 penguins that come each year and mate. And they said the man comes ahead of time, cleans out the burrow, gets it all ready for the female, and then she'll come. And then she'll lay two eggs, and Aww. I know they're so cute. Babies, they yeah. Aww. And it was it was the highlight of our trip. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and was that yesterday? No, that was a day, day before, before yesterday. yesterday. And then we left um, Puerto Madryn. We went to uh, had another sea day, and then today, our last day. Tomorrow we get off the ship. Yep. Um, we're in Montevideo, Uruguay. Another new country. Yep. Um, and again, well, Maddie and I just went out and we went shopping. It's not. It's not. Yeah. It's. It's, yeah. It's, it's fun to look around. A lot of local artisans are selling their stuff. A lot of leather goods. Um. Maddie got Some, a cute necklace, not that one. No. Um, and the one I was wearing my in the last. Week. Yeah, and uh, we saw found a great shop where we again some local artists made some great made, things made, made marble, out of marble. marble penguin. It wasn't marble. Remember, oh, it was clay. clay. It was Sorry, clay. The other ones. It looks like marble. The other ones from somewhere were marble. We have a lot of penguins coming home with us. It's like mm -hmm. Mr. Popper's penguins in my purse. But it's been a great trip. Yes. Um, I, I, like I said, it was never on my list, but I have had the best, best time. And Maddie, you were worried about coming. Yes, I was. And worried. what about it? I really, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. The animals, I mean, seeing all the animals in nature, I mean, in their own environment instead of in a zoo, you know. We yeah. love zoos because they teach people to appreciate animals to yeah. care about them but seeing them in the wild, in the wild is, just, is just amazing and those penguins oh my gosh at punta tombo punta tombo, tombo, to tombo won my heart yeah punta tombo was great i'd go back there in a heartbeat i would in fact can... maddie didn't want to leave she's like can i stay here I'm like mm -hmm, you can well i I, <laughs> said, I said to the guys do we have to go yeah had to go 
All right, so that is our Antarctic adventure. I said, if you have disabilities or anybody, I mean, you can do this, enjoy the scenery. You don't have to get off the ship to see what Antarctica looks like. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we were sad to go after two days. We were sad to leave Antarctica. We said we want to stay and see some more. Although I really enjoyed the penguins though. Oh, the penguins, well, yeah, 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 yeah I know, the penguins. Mm -hmm. But those those three on the iceberg is my favorite. Yes, yes. And I've got a few favorites from the uh, Punta Tumbo. Punta Tumbo. I will try, you know, the little penguin. He came up to us when we first got there. He was walking right beside us. He, yeah, he went right by us and mm. he jumped up on the boardwalk and he said, Hey, I know the way, follow me. And his little cute little self just walked, and he walked all the way up the boardwalk. Mm -hmm. It was hilarious. Yeah, yeah. And that, I loved I, him. I love the little noises that they make. They're oh so my weird. gosh, they're so squawky. They're yes, so, they yeah. are squawky. Yeah. Um, but it's, it was wonderful. So mm. if you ever think that you can't take an, Antarctica cruise because you, you can. have a disability, you can. You can. Um, yeah. See them with your eyes. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, if you like what we're doing, please subscribe. Like. Yeah, it means a lot to us. We're mm -hmm. on our way to 500 subscribers. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. We will be back. Bye. Bye.